Welcome to How to Seal Coat Asphalt Pavement, brought to you by Sealmaster, the world's largest producer of pavement sealer, with well over 1 billion gallons applied worldwide. Sealmaster is your nationwide one-stop source for pavement maintenance products and equipment, with over 100 manufacturing and distribution facilities across North America. Sealmaster products are also distributed in over 60 countries. Before we discuss the seal coating process, let's talk about asphalt and why it deteriorates. Asphalt pavement, also known as hot mix asphalt or blacktop, is a simple blend of two main components. Molten liquid asphalt, the black glue or binder, and crushed rock or aggregate. Left untreated, asphalt pavement will deteriorate rapidly. The asphalt binder or glue that holds the pavement together begins to fall prey to UV and oxidation damage. Moisture penetrates the asphalt, causing damage and deterioration to the pavement. Chemical damage from oil, gas, and salt leads to further deterioration of the pavement. All of this environmental distress is why asphalt goes from a newly laid, fresh, black appearance to a drab, aged, oxidized, gray appearance. Seal coating with Sealmaster Pavement Sealer replenishes the binder that is lost through weathering and aging and provides a barrier to moisture intrusion as well as ultraviolet rays, chemicals, and salt. And just as important, seal coating beautifies pavement, enhancing the image and curb appeal of commercial properties, home driveways, roadways, and more. Seal coating provides a rich, black, like new appearance to otherwise drab and worn out pavements. A scheduled program of pavement maintenance that includes crack filling and seal coating will more than double the life of your asphalt pavement and provide maximum curb appeal. The typical seal coating process involves a number of steps including edging, cleaning, crack filling, pothole repair, oil spot priming, mixing sealer, applying sealer, and line striping and traffic markings. It's important to clear weeds and grass to find the true edge of the pavement surface when beginning a seal coating project. A heavy duty weed whacker is generally used for this purpose. Areas with heavy dirt buildup need to be cleaned to assure proper adhesion of the pavement sealer. Brooms are typically used to remove dirt deposits and buildup. Shown here is a powered rotary broom that is ideal for removing dirt from pavement surfaces. Heavy duty power blowers are used to remove loose dirt, rocks, and debris from the pavement surface. The entire surface must be blown clean prior to seal coating. Occasionally, on larger projects, sweeper trucks are used to clean pavement prior to seal coating. Crack filling is an important component of a successful seal coating project. Moisture intrusion into and through cracks in pavement is a leading cause of base erosion and pavement failure, including cracking and potholes. Crack filling helps prevent moisture intrusion into pavement cracks by providing a waterproof barrier. Successful crack filling begins with removing dirt, debris, and vegetation from cracks. Shown here is a wire brush crack cleaner removing debris from a crack. The Crack Pro Turbo provides another effective method for cleaning and drying cracks. The Crack Pro Turbo utilizes heated compressed air to blow out and dry cracks. 
Dry cracks are particularly important when using hot pour crack sealing materials. In many instances, a simple air compressor and hose attachment is used to blow out debris from cracks prior to crack sealing. On some projects, cracks are routed or widened prior to applying hot pour crack sealants. Routing provides a consistent reservoir to deposit the sealant. This allows for better bonding of the sealant to the pavement crack. After proper cleaning, cracks are then filled with either Sealmaster cold applied crack fillers or Crackmaster hot pour crack sealants. Sealmaster cold pour crack fillers offer a convenient and highly effective method for filling cracks in asphalt pavement. Sealmaster rubberized pourable crack sealant is an economical proven industry workhorse for filling cracks up to one half inch wide in pavement. Flexmaster is a highly polymer modified cold pour crack sealant featuring excellent adhesion, resiliency, and low temperature flexibility. TrueFlex is the gold standard of cold applied pourable crack sealants. TrueFlex features a unique blend of acrylic polymers and hydrocarbon resins for superior flexibility and durability. TrueFlex also features a higher softening point than both cold and hot pour crack fillers. This allows TrueFlex to resist ripping, tearing, and tracking even at elevated temperatures. TrueFlex can also be mixed with up to 10 pounds of sand per gallon to provide a heavy duty, flexible patch for larger cracks and alligator pavement. Shown here is Sealmaster Cold Pour Crack Sealant being applied with a crack banding machine. The crack bander provides a fast and easy way to apply an even bead of crack sealant that extends just beyond the crack edges and a little above the crack to allow for settling of material. Shown here is a Crack Pro cold pour crack filler application unit applying sealant. The units feature a pump system that delivers material through a hose and wand and into the crack. Sealmaster trial grade crack filler is a heavy bodied sand filled material designed for filling large cracks in asphalt pavement up to one inch wide. Trial grade crack filler can also be used for repairing alligator areas on pavement. Gator Pave is a squeegee applied material designed for repairing alligator areas on pavement. Gator Pave is fortified with sand, fiber, and recycled rubber for maximum filling and resiliency characteristics. Crackmaster hot pour crack sealants are widely used throughout the pavement maintenance industry on highways, county roads, city streets, neighborhood roads, and parking lots. Hot pour crack sealants do not shrink since they are 100% solids materials. Freshly applied hot pour can be driven on within 15 minutes after application once the material has cooled. There is no drying or curing time associated with hot pour crack filling. Hot pour crack sealants are supplied in solid blocks that need to be heated in a melting kettle. Typical application temperature is between 350 and 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Shown here is a Crack Pro heated hose machine applying Crackmaster hot pour sealant. The Sealmaster MA10 Melter is a 10 gallon portable unit designed to heat and apply Crackmaster Supreme direct fire crack sealant. The MA10 can also be used as an application tool for the larger Crack Pro Gravity Flow oil jacketed melters. As you can see, there are several materials and methods for filling cracks and alligator areas. 
Regardless of the product or method used, it is extremely important to fill cracks prior to seal coating to help assure longevity of the pavement surface. Potholes are an annoyance to vehicle traffic and can lead to vehicle damage if not repaired. Potholes also pose a serious tripping hazard to pedestrians. Potholes also present a potential liability to property owners and should be repaired immediately. Successful pothole repair begins with removing rocks and debris from potholes. Patchmaster High Performance Pothole Patch provides an easy to use, economical, and durable solution for filling potholes in parking lots, roads, driveways, and more. Simply pour Patchmaster from bag and compact with a hand tamper. Another option for filling potholes is Aquaset. Aquaset is a premium water activated patching material that sets up quickly, providing a highly durable patching solution for potholes. Simply pour Aquaset from pail into pothole. Sprinkle liberally with water to activate the patch material and then immediately compact with a hand tamper. Oil spots on pavement need to be cleaned and primed with oil spot primer prior to seal coating. Oil spot primer prevents the sealer from bleeding up through freshly applied pavement sealer. Oil spot cleaning methods include wire brooms, mechanical brooms, or burning oil residue with a torch. Prep Seal is a ready-to-use acrylic-based oil spot primer that forms a tough polymer film over the oil spot to prevent the oil from bleeding through pavement sealer. Prep Seal is easily applied with a brush or garden type sprayer. Sand may be sprinkled over top of Prep Seal to facilitate adhesion of pavement sealer that is squeegee applied. Petroseal is a concentrated oil spot primer that is formulated to be diluted with water prior to application. Once diluted, Petroseal is applied in the same manner as Prep Seal. A quality seal coating job begins with the right seal coating equipment. Seal master units are equipped with full sweep agitation to maintain consistency of mix during the application process. Seal master spray units feature pumps capable of spraying sealer with sand. Seal master squeegee machines feature an advanced delivery system and squeegee assembly designed for optimum results. Seal master truck mount units are ideal for transporting and applying pavement sealer all in one unit. Seal master pavement sealers are applied by either squeegee or spray. Squeegee application fills the pores completely and leaves a thinner film over the top of the pavement aggregate. Consequently, squeegee coverage rates will vary with the porosity of the pavement. Spraying forms an even thickness of sealer over the top of the pavement aggregate and along the bottom of the pores of the pavement. Spraying allows for more control of sealer coverage rates. Since car tires only come in contact with the top of the aggregate, many feel that a two-coat spray application provides adequate protection in the pores. The extra buildup on top provides long-term color retention. Many quality conscious contractors squeegee the first coat and spray the second coat to get the advantages of both methods of application. 
On smaller parking areas and driveways, a lightweight aluminum squeegee is ideal for sealer application. A quality seal coating application can be achieved by squeegee or spray, or a combination of both methods. The key to successful results is to follow proper seal coating practices, including proper mix designs and coverage rates. When using Sealmaster concentrated pavement sealers, you must have a tank or seal coating unit with continuous full sweep agitation in order to mix sealer, water, sand, and additives. When mixing concentrate sealer, the water should be added first and allowed to mix in. After the water has been added, a polymer additive such as Top Tough or Pave Gel is added. It's important to dilute the polymer additive one to one with water prior to adding to sealer mix. This will allow the additive to disperse more evenly into the sealer mix. Polymer additives such as Top Tough and Pave Gel provide the following advantages when mixed with pavement sealer. Improves toughness of sealer. Anchors in sand for extended wear. Helps suspend sand evenly in mix. Reduces power steering marks. Provides a blacker dried sealer film. Provides resistance to oil and gas. And sealer dries faster. After the polymer additive has mixed in, sand is then added slowly to the mix. Sand provides traction for both vehicle and pedestrian traffic. Sand also provides added durability to the sealer. Sealmaster now offers ultra pavement sealers. Ultra sealers are factory blended with water, polymer additive, and sand. This allows contractors to spend time in the job site applying sealer rather than mixing sealer. The sealer application process begins by performing the trim work. Shown here is a brush applying sealer along the curb area of a parking lot. Brush applicators resist splashing of sealer and are very effective for edging work. Sealer edging can also be done by spray using a board to prevent overspray onto the curb. Shown here is sealer being applied by squeegee. It's important to overlap at least one foot into the previous pass to assure adequate coverage. Be sure to allow the first coat of sealer to dry completely before applying additional coats. Shown here is sealer being applied by spray. Be sure to overlap spray into previous paths to assure adequate coverage. Spraying provides an even, attractive textured finish and is ideal for the final finished coat. When applying sealer with a spray hose and wand, it is recommended that you overlap the previous pass by 50%. This will ensure adequate and even coverage of the pavement sealer. Be sure to apply a minimum of two coats of pavement sealer to the entire pavement surface. A third coat of pavement sealer should be applied in the high wear areas, including parking lot entrances and exits, as well as high traffic drive lanes. Allow final coat of sealer to dry a minimum of 24 hours before striping or resuming traffic. Seal coating is a warm weather process. Temperature must be a minimum of 50 degrees and rising. Temperatures must be above 50 degrees for a period of at least 24 hours after the application of pavement sealer. Do not apply Sealmaster pavement sealer 
if rain is imminent or forecast within 24 hours. 100% acrylic water-based traffic paints are recommended for striping freshly applied sealer. Sealmaster offers a full line of acrylic water-based traffic paints. Parking lot traffic markings and parking stalls should be laid out in accordance with standard guidelines to assure adequate stall widths and traffic flow. Parking lot striping layouts and dimensions can be found on Sealmaster.net. For best results, Sealmaster traffic paints are applied using high pressure airless line striping equipment. Sealmaster traffic paints provide vibrant, long lasting parking lines and traffic markings. By following the basic seal coating techniques shown in this video, you can be assured of successful results on all of your seal coating projects. For more information on Sealmaster products and equipment, be sure to visit Sealmaster.net or contact your local Sealmaster representative at 800-395-7325.